Hey guys, we are in week three of May. Oh my goodness, it is flying by. I can't even believe it. It's been 10 weeks since we've been at church, which seems crazy to me. Um, my allergies are super flared up right now. I don't know if anybody at home is having some allergy issues, but woo, they are killing me right now. So if I start sneezing, just please forgive me. All right, guys, so our key um, theme for this month was lemonade stand. We've been doing some fun lemonade stand. I hope you guys made your lemonade last week that you got from your packet. Um, I think every uh, other week this month in May, we have lemonade um, for you to do a lemonade project. So I'm hoping that you guys are making some lemonade at home and enjoying that as a family because the weather has been super nice outside for lemonade. Um, all right, so this week we are gonna be talking about the prodigal son. This is one of my favorite stories um, in the Bible. Um, that God teaches um, to a congregation of people. So it's so fun. It talks about a son who was ready to just have all of his money and do his own thing, but guess what? God had a plan for him. Um, so it kind of changes. It changes what happens. He goes out into the world, he does his own thing, but then guess what? He comes home. He comes back to the Father, um, which is what God wants us to do. Is he wants us to return to him. That's our plan. All right, so our memory verse, let's stand up and do our memory verse, and we're going to do it in our normal voice first. And our memory verse for this week or this month is, nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. All right, so we're gonna do it in one of my fun Miss Hillary voices that she always does every single second service, and it's our super fast voice. So be ready to be super, super fast. All right, okay, here we go. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Oh, let's do it one more time in our super, super fast voice. All right, here we go. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Good job, guys. All right, are you guys ready to stand and dance? All right, let's dance to our song.
Good job, guys. Are you guys enjoying that song, How God Made Me Specially? He made you so special, just the way he intended. The color of your hair, the color of your eyes, the color of your skin is the way that God intended for you to be. All right, are you guys ready to go to the clubhouse and hear about the prodigal son? All right, let's go to the clubhouse. Come on. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at this postcard a father is sending to his son. It's got a big heart and it says, I love you. Aw, isn't that sweet? It reminds me of a story. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is actually a story that Jesus told so we would know that God loves us no matter what. It's about a father and a son. One day, the son asked his dad if he could have a lot of money that his dad was saving for him to have when he was much older. The dad gave him the money. The son took the money and went far away. He spent his money on everything. He bought clothes and toys and fancy food. He kept spending his money until it was all gone. Everyone say, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh is right. All his money was gone and he was all alone. He didn't have a house or money or food. In fact, at one point, he even wanted to eat pig's food. Ugh. The son knew he had made bad choices and he was very sorry. He wanted to go back to his dad and tell him how sorry he was. He decided to go back home. When his dad saw him coming, his dad ran down the road to hug him. His dad forgave him. He loved him. Nothing could ever change that. And do you know what? God loves you the same way the father in the story loved his son. God will never, ever, ever stop loving you. He loves you no matter what. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me. Who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. All right, guys. So who loves you? God loves me. That's right. God loves you. He made you the way that you are, and he always has a plan for us. No matter if that plan turns us away, Hopefully we're all coming back. I know that I have had my own struggles in life and look at me now, I'm here, God loves me and I'm so thankful for the amazing amount of love that he continues to show to me every day. All right, parents, this is for you. We have a fun few activities for you guys this week. Remember, you're gonna have a chance to make more lemonade, so I hope you guys bought some little lemonade packets or you guys make your own lemonade. I know that um, my daughter Addison and Laura's daughter Madison made me and Laura some nice lemonade for Mother's Day, which was super awesome. It was so sweet of them to do that for us. So there are some easy recipes out there to make some fun lemonade at home. All right, so there's gonna be a heart hopscotch and you're gonna put down your God loves me. And they're gonna play hopscotch where they hop from each one and say it, God loves me. All right, that's a fun one. And then we have, um, you guys can set up a little store in your house. Um, so for the shopping activity, you're gonna get a few Ollie dollars in your um, packets this week. So you can use your Ollie dollars to have your kids buy some fun little trinkets and toys of their own. Um, whenever you talk about um, the prodigal son and how he went out and he spent his money and um, spent it on things that probably weren't important, but these things might be important to your kids. So you just kind of tie it back into your lesson. And then we have a happy sad emoji. There's gonna be some questions. You put a sad face on one side of the room and a happy um, face on the other side of the room. And then there's some questions on here um, that you're gonna ask your kids and they're gonna run to what side of the room that that, that, that um, answers their questions. 
And then lastly is always pray. Always pray over your kids and your family because we are doing that. We hope that you guys are sending up prayers for us as well because, hey, we need them too. All right, so I'm going to say a prayer for us, and then I'll see you back next week. All right. God, I'm just so thankful for how you made us each so specially. You made us the way that you intended, and you have called us to be your children. God, I pray for all of our families here at Liberty that you just wrap your hands around them and then you keep them safe during these times. God, I'm so thankful for our pastors and my friends that are here at the church and my friends that aren't here with us right now. God, I just pray you keep everybody safe and sound and that you bring us back super soon. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.